Hey guys, it's Steve and welcome back to another Grill Dome cooking video. So with the holidays coming up on us, I have an awesome appetizer for you guys to try. We're going to be doing a black raspberry and brie puff pastry appetizer and we're going to bake it on the Grill Dome. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through our setup on our grill dome here. So this is gonna be an indirect cook. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the indirect cooking rack in the down position. And then on top of that, we're gonna place one of the grill dome ceramic stones. This provides our indirect environment. All right, and next we're gonna set the main cooking rack on top of that. All right, the last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is you could either take another stone and set it directly on top of the main cooking rack, or if you have one of the grill dome extender racks, you can just set that there and then set your stone on top. That just gets it a little bit further away from the heat source down below since we are gonna be uh, baking this appetizer. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and shut the lid and get the grill dome preheated to 400 degrees. All right, let me go ahead and quickly walk you through the ingredients here. So we've got some parchment paper. We're gonna be basically building this thing out, placing it on the parchment paper and directly on the ceramic stone on the grill dome. And then you're gonna to wanna to get the frozen puff pastry sheet, so uh, just one box of these. You wanna get a wheel of brie. Now I got this wheel at uh, Sam's Club and it's massive. It's a 28.2 ounce wheel. I'm only gonna be using about half of this so you can get the smaller 15 ounce wheels that that'll work perfectly and then also you just want to really get a, a jar of whatever your favorite uh, preserves are or, or jam uh, you can really pick whatever uh, I wanted to go with uh, some of this black raspberry and then lastly we just have some heavy cream okay guys so I've got half of the brie wheel prepared here and I, once I removed the rind, I ended up with two triangle pieces. And the idea is, is that you're gonna have these pieces kind of fit together like this. So it's almost kind of like a little rectangle shape that's gonna fit in the middle of our puff pastry. The uh, box of puff pastry that you'll pick up from the grocery store, it's gonna come with two full sheets. So let me go ahead and show you how you kind of set this up. So you have one full sheet that remains intact and then the other sheet you're gonna cut into the three pieces. So I just take a nice sharp paring knife and come straight down the middle. And then you want the edges to slightly overlap. So you just set that one there. And then I'm gonna set one on this edge and this edge. All right, so I've got uh, these other two pieces kind of slightly overlapped onto the top piece. And all you're gonna do is just kind of take your fingers and kind of knead this together and kind of pinch it together. Basically, what you're doing here is you're creating a large cheese proof square versus kind of like a, a rectangle. It works a lot better if you uh, just build out a nice large square like this. Okay, now you're gonna take your brie and just set this right in the middle. And then you wanna take your preserves and just spoon enough that's on top of the brie. You wanna cover all the brie, so every bite that your guests take, get both some brie and some of the preserves. All right, now the somewhat tricky part, so you're just gonna take your, your edges and start folding this over. Just kind of covering all this up, making a little uh, package just like this. This looks absolutely gorgeous when it when it will come off the grill dome nice and golden brown. And so we've kind of got like a kind of like a square slash rectangle shape going on here. And then you just kind of push all along the seams and try to just uh, fill it up the best you can. I'm sorry, seal it up the best you can. And lastly, you're gonna take some of your heavy cream and just baste the top of it. And this is gonna give us this just amazing, sweet, golden brown, crispy, flaky topping when it's done baking on the grill dome. So with that, we're all set and we'll pick up outside. 
All right, so we have our grill dome preheated 400 degrees. And I'm just gonna pick up our parchment paper that has our puff pastry appetizer on it, set that directly on the stone and go ahead and get the lid shut. And we're gonna let this probably uh, bake anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes, but the key here is coming back around the you know, 15, 20 minute mark. And once it's looking nice and golden brown and flaky, it's done. So you definitely wanna watch it closely. You don't want it to burn. All right, guys, we are right at the 20 minute mark. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh, that is looking good. But you can tell it's not quite done yet. Over here on this one side, we're starting to see some nice golden brown occur, but we want this whole thing to look nice and golden brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the lid and uh, probably check in another five to 10 minutes. And, and once it's done, I'll pick back up there. All right, guys, it has been a total cook time of 35 minutes. I just checked it and it's done. Look at that gorgeous uh, golden brown color on top. And I kind of just touched it lightly on the outside and it's nice and crispy. So we're just gonna pick it up uh, by the parchment paper and slide it over to our uh, baking pan. And then we're gonna let it rest for five to 10 minutes. This cheese is gonna be incredibly hot. And then we'll uh, cut into it and take a look. Okay, so we've had our puff pastry appetizer resting for about 10 minutes now. I've got it sitting on a cheese platter. You can obviously see that how massive this thing is. It's, it's really too big for this cheese platter, but ultimately what you do is kind of bring this out to your guests on a nice large platter. And uh, let me just go ahead and just kind of cut off a corner here and just show you how amazing that is. Check that out right there. And then people are just gonna go ahead and cut some slices off just like this. Get some of that cheesy goodness on there and just put it on a cracker just like that. And let's go ahead and try this out. Mm, wow, that is amazing. I mean, that's basically a dessert. You can definitely you know, make this as, a, as an appetizer, but you could serve this up for a after dinner. Um, little dessert type snack as well. So please, please, please try this out uh, during one of your holiday parties coming up and let me know what you think. Experiment with some different um, preserves uh, just for some different flavor profiles. So definitely appreciate uh, you guys watching. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, subscribe to our channel if you like this video. And we'll see you again soon.